Ah, the MCAT, that delightful rite of passage that somehow tells medical schools you have what it takes to be a doctor. The sheer magnitude of what's on the MCAT can make your head spin faster than an MRI machine. But hey, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's dive into what topics you'll encounter on the MCAT and, by extension, which college classes you should save your notes from. At a high level, the MCAT will test your knowledge of the following. Introductory psychology, introductory sociology, general chemistry, organic chemistry, introductory physics, first semester biochemistry, introductory biology, basic research methods and statistics, reading comprehension, and lastly, critical analysis and reasoning. But wait, there's more! The MCAT also sprinkles in some extra fun with four specific skills. One, knowledge of scientific concepts and principles. Two, scientific reasoning and problem solving. Three, reasoning about the design and execution of research. And four, data-based and statistical reasoning. Now, all of this is broken down into four sections on the MCAT. One, chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. Two, biological and biochemical foundations of living systems. Three, psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. And lastly, four, critical analysis and reasoning skills. First up, Chem Phys is 59 questions comprised of 30% general chemistry, 25% first semester biochemistry, 25% introductory physics, 15% organic chemistry, and 5% introductory biology. Next, Bio Biochem, which is all about the body and how it works, includes 65% introductory biology, 25% first semester biochemistry, 5% general chemistry, and 5% organic chemistry. Moving on, the car section, where background knowledge is optional. Who needs that, right? Instead, it's all about your reading comprehension and critical thinking prowess. Because, you know, being a doctor is all about dissecting philosophy passages. But seriously, being a physician is more than just having a bunch of science and medical knowledge. Doctors must comprehend, interpret, and synthesize large amounts of information to make effective clinical decisions and come up with a diagnosis. And finally, we come to psych -soch a mind-bending mix of psychology, sociology, and even a pinch of intro biology. There you have it, a whirlwind tour of what's on the MCAT. If you're just getting started on this journey or you're in the thick of it, you can never have too many free resources. So check out the links in the description below for everything from a free study planner to an MCAT content checklist. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more free MCAT videos. May your knowledge be vast, your stethoscope be shiny, and your coffee be bottomless.